Hey mortgage gal, what are capital gains? Let's talk about what exactly are capital gains. I had a client that inherited the property. She put it under her name, we refinanced it, everything's under her name. She owned the property one year and wanted to relocate, which is fine. However, she would have been subject to paying capital gains on all of that equity, on all of whatever she would have sold the property. For some simple numbers, let's say the property's worth 500,000 and this client owes 200,000 because they've had it for a very long time. Those 300,000, because she had not lived in that property for two years to make it her primary residence, that's why she would have been subject to pay capital gains because it was not her primary property for two years. That's the key, guys. That's what most people don't know. If you keep the property for two years as your primary residence, if you are to sell it,